most times after an argument or after a fight you're going to have like one of the best sex you've ever had with your woman because she's trying to let you know that i really love you <music> welcome back to my channel my name is ij and this is real talk with ij if it's your first time here be sure to stay on the end of this video okay like share and subscribe if you find my content interesting enough so what women truly think about sex that's what we're talking about today okay and why for a lot of you guys men sex is just uh it's not pre-planned mostly it just happens for you guys you could be walking on the street you could see a fine girl and you just want to bang you could see a big ass and you just want to bang you could see a big boobs or whatever size you like and you might just want to bang but for a woman it doesn't always happen like that for some women they can be as spontaneous as that but that's rare okay because for a woman sex is different for a woman that's what i'm here to tell you guys so firstly for a woman sex actually begins in the mind okay we have to think about having sex before we can actually have sex okay we have to build this in our head we have to have had sex in our mind before we actually want to have sex we don't just you know come around you and then you just touch us one to three and we, we start having sex no it doesn't happen like that a woman has to think and think about the sex in her mind she must have actually had sex with you in her mind before you know before it's just easy to just flow once you begin to touch her now if you're someone perhaps you, you you're married you still your wife or your girlfriend comes to this thing and all of that and you know you're going to want to have sex with her at night i would advise you to start preparing her from the morning that you're going to have sex at night you should start building this sex sexual tension in her to know that okay we're gonna have sex tonight you should start by you know in the morning you could you know let her know she looks beautiful and how you wanna you know treat her right bang her make her scream your name all of that you know all of those all of those um erotic things you have to say to make her think about it all day this will make the desire for her to have sex later in the day higher okay now if she's at work she's busy send her messages you know tell her things that she wants to step that things that you know is going to stimulate her make her feel you know like aroused enough to want to have sex when you want to have sex now it's a gradual process for a woman i'm not saying that some women don't just jump into having sex yes some women jump into having sex but for most women they must have thought about this and had the feeling the whole stimulation in their body and the stimulation i don't know why i keep saying stimulation but you know have all of this happening in their body and then making them aroused enough to want to have sex when they see you now if you've had a quarrel or a fight with your wife during the day at night there's no way she's going to want to have sex with you because all day she was fighting in her mind all day she was thinking about the fight and you coming back at night and saying oh sorry 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 sometimes you end up having sex after an apology which is sweet because during when you are apologizing to her you must have been telling her some sweet things telling her how wonderful she is and how you fucked up and all of those things also makes a woman puts a woman in the mood to one forgive you and you know have sex with you and that brings me to my point number two now women see sex as a part of love okay women see sex as the means of telling you that they love you okay that's why most times after an argument or after a fight you're going to have like one of the best sex you've ever had with your woman because she's trying to let you know that i really love you and that's why i want to give you all of me right now so for a woman sex is like love making is like i'm going love making now love making is like a, a means of saying i love you i truly love you so for us it's not usually just random and that's why a lot of times sex with benefits doesn't work for a woman because why you guys are so it's so easy for you guys to just jump into having sex and boom that's it for a woman when it comes to uh friends with benefit a woman starts growing feelings when she keeps having sex with you continuously and you guys are calling it friends with benefit because for us sex means more than what it means for you guys okay so a woman uh uses sex to show you that she loves you it's a means of communication saying i love you and she keeps coming back to you and even if she's fighting to say the, the i love you word but she's always quick to want to get in bed with you and always you even if you guys are not calling it defined 
this is a means of this is one way that this woman is trying to tell you i love you okay so don't forget the two things i've said so far so firstly i said sex for a woman doesn't start immediately it starts from the mind it starts from the mind it starts from the mind and secondly sex for a woman is a means of the woman telling you that she loves you it's a means for a woman uh sharing her love with you so for a woman sex with benefit really works or friends with benefit i mean really works so sex for a woman always grows out to become love at the end of the day so be careful if you are in any friends with benefit situation because <laughs> causing problem for yourself when this woman falls in love she's not gonna let you want to date somebody else so just be careful out there guys so thirdly i'm trying to connect all of my points together now sex for a woman is an aspect of love okay i've told you before that sex for a woman is a means of telling of her telling you she loves you but also for a woman sex is not the entire love okay it's just an aspect of love it's an aspect of love that's why also you could finish having sex with a woman that Perhaps she was not really happy, but she just gave you sex anyways. And boom, after the sex, she's already giving attitude also. She's only she's already acting like, no, I still demand an apology. You still need to apologize for me. You still need to do all of this stuff that I, that you need to do to make me feel better. Okay, so while it's a means of a woman telling you, I love you, it's also not the entire love. So a lot of other things comes with it. That's why even though you're having sex with benefit and this girl's giving you sex, letting you know that I love you, at the point she's going to start demanding your attention she's going to start demanding your own love also she's going to start demanding a lot of other things from you because sex is just an aspect it's not the entire love so even if you're calling your friends with benefits and you're telling her see but i care about you at the point she's going to want to see all of those other care which is attention and the rest of them so for a woman uh sex is not entire everything it's not the whole thing sex is just an aspect of love that's why it's a means of them telling you I love you. But sex doesn't cover everything. So even after sex, if you still owe her an apology, she's going to demand an apology. And the last on my list today is for a woman, sex is all about being desired. Okay? Just like the first one I told you, we have to think about it. You have to plant it in our mind. And then lovemaking is going to be amazing when it happens. So sex for a woman is about being desired. That's why a lot of times, before a woman just goes into bed with you, you need to let her know that you desire her. Okay? All of that is what turns a woman on. All of that is what makes a woman want to have sex. Okay? You need to let her know that you desire her. That's why a lot of times, before a woman has sex with you, you have to run around. She has to say no, no in the mood. You have to say no, please, I want to have sex. You have to chase her up and down. You have to touch her places. She will say no, stop it, I don't want it. Now, this is not... Uh, this is not... Don't confuse this with uh consent okay if she says no and she really means no then let her be okay but if you know that she's in the mood but she's just trying to play her to get now if you understand the difference between consent and this woman playing you know making the love all thing interesting please understand this don't go and when the woman is saying no you go and force yourself on her okay so this is for couples all right so if uh, your woman you want to have sex with your woman she wants you to make her know that you desire her okay you need to understand that she's gonna say no i'm not in the mood you're gonna to try to touch her boobs she's gonna be like stop it she's gonna be laughing she's gonna like, no leave me alone all of that she wants you to make her know that i desire you i want you i want to i want to what what what, what am i going to say what, what am i going to use i don't know like you need to tell her stuff to make her know that you really want to devour her tonight or today or this afternoon for her lunch break whatnot so a woman needs to feel desired and it's going to make her want to have sex with you more. So all like you men who, a woman can just come rub your chest and that's it for you guys. You guys are already in the mood. For a woman, you need to do a little extra because for us, sex is all about being desired also. So if you want to have sex with your woman, if you know that maybe there's been some tension recently, make her feel like you desire her. Make her feel like you want to ravish her. You want to, you know, you want to eat her all up make her feel that you really desire her okay so if she's doing all of those going around playing and games and all of that in the house saying no stop it but she's naked and you know sometimes she lets you touch her a little bit and then she stops you know you have to also learn how to use your words learn how to use words that will seduce a woman now, i'm going to make a video on 10 words that can seduce your woman for you to have sex with you i'm going to drop in that video on saturday which is tomorrow for me here in dubai so be sure to check out that videos on 10 
10 words to seduce your woman so this is brought to the end of this video thank you for staying until now i hope you found this video interesting as well as entertaining be sure to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe check out my other content on tiktok and instagram i have amazing content and i'm going to be dropping a video also before the end of the weekend be sure to check that out also so until next time stay loved stay beautiful and bye for now Mwah.